Hey there, my name is Nicole Waddington and today I'm going to show you how to use your customer data, upload it into Google Ads and leverage it for ad targeting and exclusions. So first off, why would you ever use a customer match list? So customer match list can be a very powerful tool for Google Ads when you want to target current customers with ads that maybe encourage them to upgrade their product or use new features. You can also use these lists to exclude customers so that you're not wasting ad money on people who already know about your brand. And they're also really powerful as observation audiences where you can see the behavior of current customers on the campaigns you're running. So the first thing you need to do when you wanna upload a customer match list to Google Ads is go to the left-hand sidebar and under tools, you wanna go under shared library and click audience manager. Then you wanna add the customer match list to Google Ads. So you're gonna click the plus button to create an, a list and then go down to customer list. And then it's gonna ask you what your data source is. Now you can connect to a new data source and send say your customer info through HubSpot, Salesforce, or Zapier integration, or you can upload a file manually, which is what I'm gonna show you today. And then we can press continue. And then we're gonna give our segment a name. And I usually like to also mention the date because then I know which list is the most recent. Say you upload your customer list every month, you'll know which one you should be using for your campaign. So I'm gonna say this is June, 2024. And then this is optional, but you can select what type of customers these are. So you can identify them as all customers, just purchasers, high value customers, or disengaged customers. And there's a whole other list of types that you can select. I'm gonna select all customers for this example. And then for your data type, you'll wanna tell Google what information you were sharing with them. So today I'm gonna to be uploading a list of emails, but you might have user IDs or mobile device IDs. Um, and if that's the case, you'll select the radio button for each one of those, depending on what you're uploading. And then here's where the fun part is. So you wanna upload your data and it's gonna ask for a CSV file and they do have a template available so that you can make sure that all of the contacts in the spreadsheet are formatted correctly and Google can correctly match to the correct person that you're trying to either include or exclude from a campaign. So once you have your CSV file of say a list of emails or names, phone numbers and emails, you can click browse and drop the file from your computer. And they also have a drop down with some instructions of how you should be formatting your sheets so that it takes the, the contact information. And then you can determine what the membership duration is. So I'm going to say no expiration date because I want to make sure that the people in this list are excluded or included in my campaigns indefinitely. But say you only want to include these people or exclude them for a certain number of days, you can indicate that here if you wanted. And then finally, you can give the audience a description. So this could just be more information to remind you when you go to use the list, who's included, who's not included, what the criteria was. So then finally, you can press save and continue. And it'll tell you that it'll take about 24 hours for Google to match all these contacts and that all data was formatted correctly. That is how you upload your customer data to Google. And you'll see that it has populating. So when it does match all the people in the list, you'll see the audience size populate as well. And that list will then be able to be used in some of your campaigns. So there you have it. That's how you upload a customer match list to Google Ads. If you like this video, then consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or check out our podcast, Marketing the Clock, that drops every Friday with PPC, SEO, and social media news.